I've got these two oars that are in super rough shape. So I'm here at Bending Branches with Alex, who's gonna make these look brand new again. Come on in, guys. Welcome to my world. So here at Bending Branches, I'm the production supervisor for the wood line. And what we do is we make canoe and kayak paddles for those outdoor consumers. All right, we got the paddles in the shop. Now it's time to remove some hardware and strip them down. It's time to get some tools out. Step one, remove the ore mounts. Maybe it'd be easier if you didn't bend the shit out of that. It was already bent. You're better off punching it. Step two, we're gonna sand this paddle down. We're gonna take the ore right now and we're gonna run it on the 80 grit wheel. Kind of get really past all this paint and all this weather. This is some sandpaper adhesive. It helps keep our sand wheels clean and fresh. Woo, she's a dusty one. We went to the 80 grit to strip all that weather off, that paint too. And now we're on the 100 grit to get that nice and smooth feel to it. And then after that, we're gonna hit the burnishing wheel, which is 150 grit. It's gonna be completely smooth. Everything's gonna be nice and feathered. This thing's gonna look brand new. So we just finished sanding the paddle. How you can tell that it's all finished is that we got all the blemishes out of the paddle, stripped all that paint off, got all that weather peeled off of that wood, and now we're gonna take this tack cloth, we're gonna dust, take off all the dust off the paddle, and then we're gonna put it into our varnish tank here for a couple coats. And they are gonna be brand spanking new. Take this tack cloth and we're gonna kinda wipe it down so that it picks up all this dust. As you can see here, that's what we just picked up right off that. We don't want that to travel through the varnish. So this dip tank is built for actual canoe paddles and kayak blades. These oars are a little long for our dip tank holding container, so we're gonna have to dip them in sections. All right, so I'm gonna take this paddle, I'm gonna do the top side first, as much as possible. We probably have to run this up here and we're gonna flip her around it's gonna be almost like we're gonna have to do it three times just to get her coated if we can get at least two coats on it then we can make sure 
that those after those two coats that they're going to be nice and smooth. So making sure to cover the entire panel, and then we're going to do the the or the handle side last, so it runs off of the paddle down the shaft to the blade. So the first coat's gonna take about four hours to dry. I'm excited to see these when they're finished. Handful of varnish. Mineral spirits. Take it right off. And your tan too. Now that we're waiting for the varnish to dry, we're gonna straighten out these pins. Pretty straight to me. Just taking the vise and we're gonna kinda of squeeze them and bend them back straight as an arrow. Oh. That's another problem. So our pins are a little short, but first we're gonna put these back on and then we're gonna bend these back so they fit perfectly. After two coats of varnish on these oars, we're gonna take it to the burnishing wheel and knock down this raised grain. So we're gonna take the oar and run it along this 180 grit burnishing wheel. Kind of knock down all the raised grain. Even take, take it off the blade. Knocking down that raised grain and then adding two more coats of varnish on top. So the oars are burnished, and now we're gonna add two more coats of varnish to the oars. Two coats of varnish later. Just got the final coat done on the oars. Now we're gonna take them to the shop, drill a hole through them, put the brackets back on. Now we gotta take the drill and punch through the existing holes to make sure there's no varnish in our way. Now we're gonna slide them in place and see if they fit. Is it because it's bent? There it goes. The oars are finished. Now it's time to get them back on the boat. These old oars turned out awesome. I can't wait to see them on John's boat. High quality paddles. That's what we do. Hey, thanks for watching our video. Click subscribe to see what else we're up to.